Alright, hey guys, what's up? Bombination 9 here. Today we're playing some uh, Skullgirls. It's been a while since we played Skullgirls. Uh, they released a new character today, which is why I'm playing. <clears throat> they released uh, Lizia today. Uh, I believe that's her name. Um, I just practiced with her for a while, so I know kind of what I'm doing before I actually get into doing her story mode. Uh, sorry about the mic, I've been saying that a hundred times in all my videos. Uh, I've had to resort to using a uh, uh, webcam mic because my other one just isn't uh, whatever. It isn't working for me. So, yeah. So, also, I might not be able to do the voices properly on top of the mic not sounding right because uh, my throat's kind of messed up, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything. <clears throat> I'll try. But if it gets bad, I'll just start reading everything regularly. Okay, so far no dialogue. So yeah, I haven't played this story mode obviously yet, so I don't know... Uh, I don't know anything about it. Okay, here is obviously some dialogue. <clears throat> okay, let me try. Lorenzo, are you there, darling? It's been such a long time. What's the special occasion? Vital? Who's this? Welcome, Elysia. I'll be speaking on, the, on my father's behalf tonight. Forgive me for being terse, but as you may realize, our business has two pressing problems. You've heard about the latest Skullgirl, I presume? A little. As much as anyone. You're doing such a good job keeping our victims under wraps, dear. All I know is it's like poor Celine all over again. You may have my sympathies, but I don't do funerals. That brings us to our second problem. The racket you're running. You think we didn't know? You've been skimming from all those blood drives, Elysia. There's no bigger sin than stealing from charity. Now, imagine if the public found out. So, you're jumping at the chance to blackmail me? It doesn't pay to underestimate your partners, does it, darling? I take it. You're not asking for a song. We both have our secrets to protect. I believe these two problems share one solution. You. Do you expect me to hunt the Skullgirl? Honey, I'm sorry, but that's just not my scene. My place is on the stage. Don't underestimate us. We know dang well what you're capable of. You have a knack for taking blood, tracking blood, just like we do for talent. Of course, we wouldn't send you out alone. Cerebella? <clears throat> What's Cerebella's voice? Um, just normal, I guess? Let's just go with a normal voice. That's why I come in. Cerebella, here, will ensure that everything goes smoothly. You can count on me. I don't worry, Vital. And don't worry, Vital. We'll nab that cat if we see her too. Oh, okay. So that's why I wasn't gonna give her like a kind of a country accent, cause uh, I was gonna give um, uh, misfortune a country accent. So that's why I didn't want to give Sarah Bell anything special. That's my girl. As for you, Elysia, if you fail, we're gonna have the conversation neither of us wants. What the, Lorenzo? Um, <clears throat> uh, crazy guy voice, I'm guessing? Kill her! Kill her! And bring me her heart! Or you are finished in this town, do you hear me? I'll ruin you! Oh, Lorenzo, I hardly recognized you. You've grown so... Distinguished? At least now, I can see why you're so desperate. 
You want to see desperate. Desperate is when I'll rip out your skeleton and see if it's more useful to me than you are. Black Dahlia? <clears throat> you should hurry before it comes to that. Are we gonna fight Peacock? Forget the blood scandal. Your fans will be in mourning. Ah, that was a lot of, a lot of dialogue. Albus, um... The Metas are brave... Wait, I don't know how to... I never know how to say that, man. Metases or Metases? The Metases are breathing down our necks. But all they're sending along is this little girl? Is this supposed to be a joke? The Skull Girl must have made quite a dent in their numbers if they're forcing to recruit from the circus. Vital could have sent anyone. I'm all it takes. You'll learn that the hard way if you aren't careful. That living weapon of yours may be a powerhouse and a hat, but that strength never belonged to you. What are you talking about? It's not that different from you and your parasite. Parasite. I didn't really think she was a parasite. I played it enough to know that she her body's like made out of blood or something. And she's just a skeleton, but I don't know I didn't really think she had a parasite. Hush, hun. I'm impressed that you aren't completely in the dark, but I'm more interested in getting this job over with. Ma'am, I believe that we may have found our first lead. Too right. Something smells of the grave. That's for sure, is it squiggles? Come on, come. We have work to do. Yeah, we have a lot of dialogue to do as well. Yeah, it's squiggles. <clears throat> I can't believe we got into a fight with the princess of all people. We must look at a pair of hool we must look like a pair of hooligans. If she turns out <clears throat> that's not that's the wrong word. <clears throat> if she turns out anything like her father, I would not worry about it. Besides, it was entirely her fault for lumping us in with those mindless, slouching zombies. You would think royalty would recognize the value of proper posture. My, my. I thought all the dead were under the control of the Skull Girl. Yet you two don't seem to be. Finally, someone who pays us some attention. We're not under control, thankfully. She's nowhere near either. What is this? Some kind of ventriloquist act? The girl's mouth ain't moving, made even moving. Trust me, she's been better. She's seen better. Why are we even listening to this girl anyway? Time's a wasting, yeah. Wait, a second. I thought you looked familiar. You're Elysia, aren't you? I loved you singing since I was a little girl, and you still look as beautiful as you did then. That's so flattering of you, sugar. You were quite famous yourself. But I'm more interested in whether your friend remembers me. Uh... Skedmet? That means it can't be... You should be dead! Okay, so the skeleton itself is a parasite, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? You're gonna blow our cover. Oh, don't worry. He's known me for a long time, sweetie. Leviathan, I know we've had our differences, but I must know if I can count on you to support in these troubled times. Surely you've thought of reclaiming your rightful place as the Theon, just as I have, or has the proud serpent I know been, yeah, been reduced to a worm digging his way through a rotten apple. My place is with those who share my ideals. Together, we will protect what I what we can. That has always been where I take my pride. Man, this is like nine, ten minutes of dialogue. And look where your pride has led you. My life, on the other hand, has been rosy. Oh, only by hiding your true nature, but I can see that it has re-emerged. Whatever purpose has awakened you, you must be stopped! Someone who knows our lady, but not well enough to stay out of her wing. That's cute. 
Wait, that's... <clears throat> that's cute. Time for your return trip to the underworld, worm. Leviathan? Who in the world are these people? The diva you show admires nothing more than a blood-drenched idol. In our time, she called herself Nefu Neferu. But we had no knew her as a crimson scro uh, scrooge. Scrooge. The others, mere lackeys. Hey, wait a. No one has called me that in ages. It brings such back such beautiful memories. It is past time for us to catch up, Leviathan. It's been far too long. God, that took ever. Ten minutes of just dialogue. Elvis? Now I have to remember all the combos that I tried to tried to Everybody do. Ah. I'm just trying to get it in the corner. That's all I'm doing. Looks like Squiggly is a little bit too short. I didn't really mean to do that, but let's just go for the first one. That would be the first combo, kind of, there. Oh, she got me. That's commands. I, oh, her uh, not getting knocked down. I had never seen it before because I was just playing and training, obviously. I'm not really uh, doing anything. I'm just... Uh, Playing hard because this is just a first fight, so there's no point in really trying too hard. How do I look? I'll get the second uh, combo in the next uh, fight. Hopefully, this dialogue isn't like an hour long again. You really thought you could win Leviathan? You picked up some tricks, but still, it's a miracle you're moving at all, attached to that dead white, that dead weight. I, I don't think we can beat them. Patience, my lady. For now, <clears throat> that's way too big. For now, we must exercise discretion and withdrawal. You're not going anywhere, dead meat. How does she move like that? She ain't that fast. From what I could see, she and the parasite appear to be moving you. A talent I didn't know they had and one that could be useful if Leviathan understood who to serve. Trying to remember that you're not the one in charge here, lady. I can assure you that interacting with was strictly professional. The interaction was strictly professional. Besides, you were the one who sub suspected them, dear. It was, Sarah, it was pretty obvious you wanted to catch up with your little buddy there. Your drama is not my drama, understood. I think this one needs to learn some manners. Are we gonna fight her? Don't mind her, Horace. We were all that young once. In fact, she's a surprising amount of fun. It's already been such an eventful evening. Albus, the scent of blood is in the air. Start the car. You got it, boss. Oh god, it's almost been 15 minutes, I'm gonna have to stop it, we've barely gotten any fighting done. Man, what a dump. Why are we out here? This is the last place we can find the Skullgirl. Because I smell something delectable. An aromatic trail of blood from one who should be but a mummy by now. We thought we'd find Pinwheel. Is that Elmo? We're going about to fight Elmo? Well, all I smell is fish. And all I see is cruddy looking... Begonian restaurant. Oh, it's uh, it's fortune, not Pinwheel. Probably because that stupid hat blocks your view. Not like you know good food from when you see it anyway. It's the cat burglar we tall once. Lizia, we gotta grab her. Hey, you, you better hand over the life gem you stole from us. Finders keepers, aren't five finger discounts the medicine way? Life Jam, Great Osiris, of all the stories, that was Lorenzo's secret, and now, 
He's lost it to you. A thief? How funny. Tell me, is that the seasoning that makes your blood so pignant? Or pungent? I'm just aching to get a draught. May Bosset forgive me. I don't think so, crazy lady, cat lady. Oh, you're getting this hospital food. Oh, we're fighting? Okay, I'm gonna have to stop because this is 15 freaking minutes. This is just dialogue at the wazoo. I want to back up and then I'm going to pause it there and then we can uh, check out Lizzie in the next episode. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Tune in the next episode. Like, share, comment.